Tark, are you there? So far, but I've already had two offers to drive people to the airport. <laughs> I'll keep in touch. Housekeeping said you didn't get any towels. May I? Dougerson. Yeah? Thomas? Linda, you all right? No. Mason found me. I'm at his house. Thomas, my friend. Seems that your men fell asleep on the job. Mason, you don't have to hurt her. And I won't. If you do exactly as I say. Go on. I have the control mechanism here with me. And I intend to... Disintegrate a very important target in exactly two hours. Unless you deliver the diamonds. Maybe if I knew what the target was, I'd feel more like being your delivery boy, Mason. Thomas. Thomas, you're almost as clever as I am. Maybe that's one of the reasons I've come to like you. Now listen. I want you to come alone with the diamonds. No cars in front. No cars behind. You'll be watched all the way. You've got that. What about Linda? Thomas. Make it so, all right? Where are you going with that? Well, I was just going to put it over there on the table. I'll take it. Who are you? Stole it. You really want it that bad. full of surprises. But I guess this saves me a trip to Rock Canyon. I just tapped him, Thomas. That's some tap. You better call the director. If they can revive him, maybe we can find out what Mason's target is. Put the luggage in the trunk. All right, stay close. We're doing the airport within 45 minutes. How much further? Not much. Is Torque in position? Within practical limits. Hold on, Thomas. Yes? Yes, immediately. Thomas, we were able to get something from that valet at the hotel. 
Mason Stalker is the Prime Minister of Suganda, and he's en route home. I've ordered the plane to land, but the nearest field is a good 30 minutes away. Cartel's been trying to topple that government. They've been backing the rebels for a long time now. I know. If you don't stop Mason first. Thomas, I suggest you activate your radar now, in case they try to intercept with another vehicle. Effie, I'm trying. I can't get anything. They must be jamming. What do you make of it? It's no ordinary counter-frequency, Thomas. I show your scanner in perfect working order. More likely, it's sympathetic harmony disturbance. Give me significance and alternatives. One moment, Thomas. Analysis indicates a frequency of 11.5 minibuzz, a crystalline molecular source. Which means? But aside from my shielded synaptic relays, the only recorded usage of that frequency is in the seeker targeting disk. Thomas, they must have targeted your car. Too bad he's carrying the diamonds. You could blast him right now. No. Wait till Sloan gets to the phone booth. I want to see this. I want you to see it too. Thomas, the signal is still just as strong. I'm out of the car! It's on me! My jacket! Now he's picked hit. I'm not sure. Go down and check. Then pick up the diamonds.
to see you. Funny, there's no mistaking the real thing. Come to see where some of our budget went. All the advertising for Miss Daniels. Oh, look at it this way. She helped us solve a problem, save a prime minister. We helped her launch a new career. The club has just offered her a long-term contract. Good for her. Tell us, Thomas. How did you know it was Mason and not the girl? How? Yeah. Take a look. If that computer chip you gave Kelly fell into the wrong hands, our adversaries would have devastating military knowledge of our defense system. She's alive, isn't she? Even if she is, you can't help her. I've seen him crush rocks with his bare hands. This is Steve Martin with a 20-second promotional announcement. Be sure to join me this Saturday night when I host Saturday Night Live with my musical guest, Blondie. That's Saturday Night Live, 11.30, 10.30 Central Time. Okay, eight seconds to go. Okay, and cut.